So what's up guys, we're going to be opening up another Battle Styles booster box. And yeah guys, if you don't know, like I like the last booster box I opened early, paid over retail just to bring you that early content, show you what you can get in this set, because it's like a mixed set, it's like Marmite, some people like it, some people don't, and I want to try and open some, and then maybe I could change your mind, you might like it. There are a few good cards, a few cards I would want in my collection, and hopefully we can pull them so we can show you them today, uh, but if you're here, make sure to like and subscribe, I think after we open this we've opened close to 200 packs ahead of release so i've I still got more packs i've got about 20 30 more packs to open ahead of release and i can still get more so if you guys want to see more battle stars make sure to like and subscribe i'll make sure those are up before the release date and yeah this set is heavily allocated um most retailers only got like one sixth of their order so it might be a very hard set to get at first but then it should be easier once they start reprinting etc but let's get into it let's see what we can get what we can pull um let's get some scissors in there all you need is a little hole and then you can open that like that that's all you need a little hole so boom all right let's go look at that every time with these booster boxes don't know what they're using on there but <laughs> all right let's get that in there and there we go like a nice store display as you can see um but we'll put it right there in frame or a little bit back yeah there we go all right let's get straight into it i will go straight to the ray you guys loved it last time in my other booster box opening that i uploaded on yesterday i think the booster box video went yesterday uh which was tuesday today's wednesday i'll upload this one on the weekend or something i'll upload some shiny fates in between just because we haven't done some and then i have 300 packs of a japanese sets which i'm uploading on saturday which is by the time this video is uploaded probably be uh yesterday so make sure to go check out our 300 packs opening off a japanese set Ooh, m ball single strike not seen this one before and obviously we've been through the cards we've been through the commons and uncommons in our 35 pack opening so we showed you those that's why i can go through straight to the rare if it's like a new set i would want to show you all these uncommons and stuff because oh kingdra bro every time i open this set we get something new i haven't seen this one either um because we already showed you the commons uncommons and obviously it's 36 packs i don't want to take too long of your time so that's why i'll go straight to the rare and you guys loved it in the last video so yeah we'll make sure to keep that up for most of the videos but yeah if you want to see us go through the comments and stuff go check out our 35 pack opening our first battle styles video that's where we took more of our time but i dropped a necrozma v so necrozma v let me know if you like this card down in the comments let me know if you see a card in this video you like let me know which one you like because i'll be interested to see what my youtube subscribers do like but but we've got biblion it sounds like my name but miss it wrong letters on the end but let's go for it oh okay colossal hollow rare go and pull this a few times now so you might have seen this one on channel other three other two hollow rares i've not seen before so that's the good thing about opening sets over and over and over again just kind of show you oh you can get this you can get that but nothing there we got a glaring slow bro the artworks by mishiro arita in case you're wondering i think let me know what other artworks he might have done in this set that i might have missed um but yeah come on let's see if we can get a secret rare in this booster box as well we've already pulled both alt art urshifu single and rapid strike urshifu alt art probably the best and top chase cards in the set and we've pulled both of them we pulled obviously tyranitar uh alternative art as well so we're trying to get the empoleon so i can show you that in hand show you the details and yeah just my opinion on how it looks but we got cherim there all right let's see what we got come on something here no glaring slow bro again I think a lot of fans will like that glaring slow bro just because of uh, the illustrator but oh Corviknight, Corviknight might be a playable card because it seems to be going for a little bit extra let me know if this is playable as well as the VMAX um, but let's see what else we got here come on Ooh. Tyranitar Alt Art I am not going to complain with that one I'm probably going to get three of each these ones are going for a fair bit, obviously, I've said, I pulled this one before. I'm trying to get the Empoleon, we'll see how hard it is to get. Because in the Sun and Moon set, the old arts were quite difficult to pull. So, this is probably going to be, it's not a secret rare, so the old art Urshifus are secret rare. Uh, the Urshifu VMAX old alternative arts. The full art Tyranitar and Empoleon Vs are just full arts pretty much, because as you can see from the set number, it's not a secret rare. Shout out Bulba Pro again uh, for the semi-rigids, but... Um, 
Nice to see you can easily get that. This is my second ETB. I mean, this is my second booster box and we managed to pull that. So it's not too difficult, I feel, because we've already pulled two of them. I can imagine the Urshifu two's being a bit hard. Cricket tune, is this also playable? Check the ability, all my players out there, because I, I can tell from the prices of some regular Vs if they're playable or not. Because obviously, Cricket tune and Corviknight are not likable characters. They're not popular characters yet. They seem to hold some good value, maybe due to p playability. And because I've been selling singles for a while, look at that Luxio and then Luxray straight after. Uh, because I've been selling singles for a while. I kind of can tell um, what is playable due to its value. But yeah, guys, there we go. Lux Ray there. Not so bad for half a box, but can we pull a Rainbow Secret Rare? Uh, alternative Art Secret Rare? Let's just see what we can get in this box. But yeah, even that Golden Hondoom is a card I want in my list. That's on my list to get for my collection of Victory Bell there. So the Golden Hondoom, Tyranitar, and Polion. Probably the only three I'm going to keep. I might keep. I'll keep. We pulled some other cards that you have to watch the other video to work out which other cards I kept apart from those three. But yeah, let's see what else we can pull. All right, we've got Stone Journal there, code card there. All right, let's see what we've got here. Nothing there, Victory Bell. Come on, guys, let's see. Let me know what you think. What's your thoughts? Is this one of your first? Videos you oh the Crosma so we're going double full arts because like I said the old art is a full art the Crosma full art never seen this one in hand or online before so not bad I'm not a Necrozma fan but there might be a few of you out there that might like Necrozma you might play the era of games where that came out I didn't really play any Sun and Moon is it from Sun and Moon or earlier let me know because I don't have a clue I've stopped playing last game I played before getting a Nintendo Switch was Diamond and Pearl so I can't wait for the Diamond and Pearl remakes because that was literally the last game I played and I played that heavy like I smashed that game out but um, any game in between I've not played since so Octillery Hollow Rare there I think this might be a playable one possibly let me know Rapid Strike Search it says Ability obviously pause it or maybe look up those cards or you can go on my eBay I have pictures of all the cards um, so you can have a better look that way as well um, But yeah, let's see what we can get Ooh, Getting close to the end now still a few packs left, but can we get no V maxes? We haven't pulled a V max either. So usually you tend to get a V max in every box as well uh, Just usually just because it's easy to pull as well a V max regular V max anyways So we haven't got a regular V max a lot of victory bells. I feel but come on, let's see what else we can get. Oh, jelly scent. I don't know what that is. Oh, Minshao. Come on, guys. How many how many packs was that without a hit? That must have been at least ten packs. All right, we got Cherry and Hollow Rare at least. But boom, that was a lot of packs without a hit. But we got this Cherry and Hollow Rare. Not too bad. Ooh, Licky Tongue there. Come on, guys, let's see what we can get. And. Ooh, Single Strike Urshifu V. So, boom, pull these quite easily. Uh, let me know if you like the Urshifu characters, single and rapid strike, which is your favorite. Do you play the game? Which one? What sort of deck do you have? A single or rapid strike deck? Let me know down below. Obviously, I don't play the games really. I just collect the card games, to be honest with you guys. But yeah, let's see. I used to play the online game when I was first getting, like when I was opening packs, I used to get the code cards and then I would scan the code cards just so I can have extra packs. But VMAX, Big Teeny. So, because I, I would open the packs and I wouldn't want to open more packs. So, what I would do is scan the code cards, then you have more packs to open online. And then I end up making some decks and playing when I'm bored. But I haven't played since starting the channel because I give all the code cards to you guys. So, I have nothing to redeem. But two packs left, no secret rare. What? Can, ooh, okay, Kingdra. Can the last pack have a secret rare, guys? Come on. One more pack left in this booster box. Will it be a secret rare? We'll go fourth on the back for this one. Let's go like that, hold it tight, boom, code card there, and four from the back. Last card, card. come on, let's keep the suspense up at least. Water, Tower of Water, sorry, 
Karina's Focus, Pergly, Roly Coly, Chimeco, Onyx, Sizzlepeed, Glamiao, Reverse Indeedee. Is this the same one from Shining Fates? I'll double check that after, but, bro, nothing there, but let's show you. Let's see, let me check. So it's not the same one as Shining Fates. I was just curious to check. But yeah guys, we didn't do too bad, obviously we got that Tyranitar alt art, which is not too bad, not too shabby, this one alone is going for us like 50 plus pounds, Japanese one was going for a bit, so we'll see where the market price is on this, everyone's loving the alt arts, I think it's the chase of the set, alt art Tyranitar, Empoleon, and also Urshifus, if you like the Urshifus then, but those are secrets, the alternative art Urshifus are secrets, so they're mid Japanese one's been going for over 100 plus on it. Curious to see what the market price is for some of these single cards and will that affect the hype, the popularity of the sets? Seeing some couple hundred pound cards because not a lot of sets have 100 pound cards. So, guys, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and yeah, we'll be opening more. Like I said, we have more products right next to me and we'll open them, waiting for some few more packs and we'll get those opened probably later down the week. So, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.